Alright guys, today we are at my storage unit and I am going to show you five animatronics that you didn't know that I have. Number one is this guy right here, Jack Straw from Spirit Halloween. This is actually one of my favorite animatronics from Spirit Halloween. I believe that the frame is the same as Demonic Dahlia and both Dahlia and Jack Straw scared the crap out of me a million times when I was going through the Spirit Halloween store, so I knew I had to buy him. I'm still on the lookout for Demonic Dahlia, but one day I will get her. And I will put all of these together in the very near future, but for today, we're just going to be taking a look at each and every one of these. Look at the face on that guy. All right, once again, guys, this is Spirit Halloween Jack Straw. Quickly lunges from seated position to standing with a spine-chilling scream. Can be placed on chair or bench for added effect and actually you really need to have him sitting on some kind of a chair or a bench or something infrared sensor battery adapter multi-prop remote compatible step pad or try me button activated that is some pretty cool art on the box let's just go ahead and turn the box around here you can see what's on each side look at that face oh my gosh guys I love Jack Straw so much. Let's turn him around to the back. And here, of course, we have the story about where Jack Straw came from. We have the price up here. He was originally $1.99 in the stores. And then down here is just some extra information about Jack Straw. And if we keep turning the box around here, here's another picture of him on this side in the seated position. His head is slightly down so that you can't see his scary face. And it says Jack Straw lunges quickly from seated position and scares the living crap out of you. So he goes from this position to that position, and yes, he definitely does scare the living crap out of you. Or at least he scares the living crap out of this guy. <laughs> so that is the first one, guys. One of five, Jack Straw from Spirit Halloween, one of my favorite animatronics of all time. Number two is this guy right here, the Wraith. Now the way that it's spelled on the box is W Wraith, but he's called The Wraith. Spooky, scary, ghost. He's not a jump scare, but I do love ghosts at Halloween, so he's another one that I knew I had to get. So let's take a look at his box here. Spirit Halloween rises and sways side to side. Scary lights and spooky sounds. Sound activated. Stands five and a half feet tall and extends to six feet tall. So what that means is he kind of sways back and forth and he goes up and he goes down. He doesn't actually have any kind of phrases. He just makes those spooky, ghostly Halloween-y sounds. But that is cool because when I think about a ghost like him, I think about a ghost in a haunted mansion or a cemetery. So let's go ahead and turn the box around here. We'll see what's on the sides and the back. Rise of Sway, side to side, scary lights and sounds. Just another picture of him in what appears to be a haunted cemetery. We'll keep on turning. And of course, like the other one, they have a story about where the Wraith came from, some information down here about the different adapters and volume control and things like that. And of course, in the store, he was $169.99. On the last side, we have a picture here, kind of showing his animation where he goes back and forth and rises and goes back down. I think this picture's funny because to give you the idea of him making sounds, they have that little thing right there. <laughs> But back around to the front is the awesome picture of the Wraith in an abandoned, scary cemetery. Or at least that's how I see it in my mind. So that is number two, the Wraith. Another one that I love and another one that I knew I definitely had to have. Number three is this guy, Lucky Bottoms. How could I ever pass up the chance to buy Lucky Bottoms? Lucky Bottoms, or as we know him, Bottomless Joe. So let's take a look at the box here, guys. Spirit Halloween, Lucky Bottoms, constant convulsing motion. If you guys remember seeing the videos of him in the store, you remember he just kind of moves around and around and around while laughing maniacally, as it says down here on the box. 
laughs maniacally for added fright, stands two feet six inches tall. And stands is a very peculiar choice of words, being that he has no butt or legs. Sits would be more like it. Let's go ahead and turn the box around here. Lucky bottoms, constant convulsing motion, laughs maniacally for added fright, and there he is. I love his hands, how his fingers just kind of curl over. That's absolutely hilarious. And just seeing this makes me remember going through the store and like when I first would walk in, you'd hear him laughing maniacally right from the front door. So the back has the typical description here of where he actually came from. Some more information down here about him. And he was $169.99 in the store. The other side here has some more pictures with the arrows signifying his motion and that little thing signifying that he speaks. Look at those teeth. He definitely needs the Aquafresh. So there he is, number three, Lucky Bottoms. I actually did not buy him in a store. In fact, four of the five here I did not buy straight from Spirit. I bought from a friend named David from David's Retail Adventures on YouTube. Check him out. Watch some of his videos. Let's move on to the next one. Number four, guys. Straw Man. I bet you didn't see that one coming. I definitely had to have the Straw Man. He was available last year, and then surprisingly, he was available again this year, and I kept putting him off and putting him off and putting him off, and I got him also from David, who picked him up on clearance from Spirit on the last day they were open. Look at this guy. He is so very cool. The straw man, head and torso sway side to side, light up LED eyes and moving mouth, stands six feet seven inches tall. He is a tall drink of water. And if you guys remember, I made that one short of him break dancing because every time I saw him in the store, he reminded me of somebody who was break dancing. I do really like his yellow eyes too. Some people don't like when the eyes light up. They think it kind of takes away from the human aspect, but that's okay because they're not supposed to be human. They're supposed to be evil. So let's go ahead and turn this box around, look at the sides. There's just another picture of him standing in the spooky trees. Straw man, head and torso sway side to side, light up LED eyes and moving mouth. Once again, around the back here, we have the typical story about where straw man came from, and I love the way this one starts out. Back in the day, straw man was a gentle farmer. <laughs> Okay, we have extra information here. And then in the stores, he was originally $329.99. And I believe I actually got him for $125. That is a heck of a deal for a straw man. So we do have a little hole punched in here from where his frame is sticking out, but that's okay. Here's the picture on the other side, his head going back and forth. And then him speaking here. I love how his mouth is sewn shut. And then back around to the front again. So there he is, number four out of five that I'm showing you today, The Straw Man. He is totally awesome, and I'm so glad that I bought him. The very last one today, guys, is one that I just bought recently, just a few weeks ago, actually, because he went on sale on the Spirit Halloween website. He is inside this box right now fighting his way out. I put a picture of this box online and you guys have been guessing what he is for about three weeks now and I'm about to reveal that this is, that's right, hot nozzles. Guys, I put off buying nozzles all through the 22 season and the 23 season. I kept thinking I have got to buy hot nozzles and I never did. So this is another one right here that I bought after the season because he just went on sale a few weeks ago on the Spirit Halloween website. I believe his original price was $349.99 if I'm not mistaken and I got him for $211 out the door, including shipping. That's a great price for Nozzles the Clown. Look at this guy. Now you actually had to have a fog machine in order to make the fog come out of his nozzles, which I do have a fog machine. It's at my son's house right now because we were using it to fill up the inflatable haunted house with fog during trick or treat. But let's go ahead and take a look at this box right here for Nozzles the Clown. Torso turn and arms move up and down as fog spews through the nozzles. Light up LED eyes and fog nozzles. That means that his eyes light up and the tips of his nozzles 
also light up. So while it's spewing that fog out, if it's dark out, it lights up the fog. It is such an awesome effect. Black light responsive, so all the colors on him shine brightly if you have a black light on. And he stands six feet tall. I'm sure you guys remember seeing him in the stores. Definitely, again, one of my favorites. So let's go ahead and spin the box. We'll look at each side here. There's just a picture of Nazi standing in between the spooky trees. Says the same things over here. I just realized also that it doesn't say anything about the phrases that he says. It doesn't even mention that he talks. But as you guys know from seeing him in the videos and in the store, he definitely does talk. And yes, here is the original price tag. I was right. He was originally $349.99. Here is the story on the back about where nozzles originated from, as well as some extra information here. Wow, look at this. This says his sensor has a range of up to 6.3 feet. I don't know how far the range of these things usually are, but that is pretty dang good. So on the other side here, we have more pictures of him. He's got his nozzle spewing the fog, and this is supposed to show him moving back and forth and again it's kind of strange that he doesn't have the little thing here indicating that he talks because as we know he definitely talks get ready for the toxic sludge man i cannot wait to get this guy set up as well as the rest i just love spirit i love halloween and i love animatronics so there he is guys number five out of the five that i'm showing you today that i have and you didn't know that i have and you guys tell me in the comments below out of the five that i showed you today who is your favorite animatronic? Make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, leave me comments below, and a thumbs up. We got plenty of awesome Halloweeniness coming all year long.